You guys are telling me, this is easy, go get 10%. I know what the promises are and I know what the mechanisms are, but have you guys staked and received 10% somewhere? Like actually um, liquidated I, I, at 10%. I, I, I'm trying to remember how much I got from Hex, but maybe it was- Nothing, you have got nothing no, from no, Hex. No, I, I, I definitely got some stuff from Hex. You 100%. haven't seen his Lambos. <laughs> <laughs> They're toy I mean, Lambos, but they're Lambos. <laughs> have you used Dyson? It's the new DeFi product launched by Sphere. So it's you new can get, and it's not proven. Um, I'm earning yield right now, real yield on it right now. Is um, it compounding or does it, does it only I can deliver? Pull, I can pull out whenever I want. I, I have, I've chosen not to pull out because I'm not staking a ton of money in Dyson. it right now. I'll look at it. I'll Di look at it. You can get like, anywhere from... 12% to 15% a year on, uh, to, well, to 150%, depending on which, uh, like, depending on which ones you're, you're running on. So you're, it's not that hard. My so, trading yeah. bots are doing five, between five to 10% a month right now. So uncompounded, you're talking anywhere between 60 and 120% a year, uncompounded. I mean, you admit that that's the exception that proves the rule, right? Like- uh, the, the, Yes, but I mean, yeah. if you've got 1.6 million, there are tons of options probably open to you that I don't have access to. Hmm. So if I had the 1.6 million, yeah. let me just break down how, how easy it is, how low the barrier of entry it is to have like a pretty successful NFT project. One of the guys, he is just like a guru. If you need to figure out NFTs, you go to him. Before I launch my NFT for more than blockchain, I will go to him and be like, roast me because I need, <laughs> if it gets past him, I believe yeah. it. His name is Brendan. And he was part of Psychedelics Anonymous, which I actually thought was a pretty awesome collection. It was a very interesting collection. And I asked him the other day, I was like, dude, why'd you get out of that? You know, that was your hex on Twitter. That was the thing that you were like, that was the drum that you were beating, you know, like you were with them. And you know what he said? He said, they were supposed to do a merch launch and the merch launch didn't go well. And he was like, how can I trust in an organization? that can't even send me a hoodie. Yeah. So that's how yeah. low the barrier of entry is. So you to have a thousand people and you want to send them out like a hoodie, right? And if you just do that in the first six months, that way they're wearing it. And then you could just drop them another NFT from some cool artist. That is no money relative to 160,000 a year if that's what you have to play with. Now, I wouldn't put my money in any of these DeFi things because I, like Grant, have not seen them work over a long enough period of time. I'm no just way. talking about go buy Bitcoin and go buy Ethereum and wait three years. It's going to go up 5X. That's simple. That is simple. But you have a business to run. Well, Grant, he, Grant he, you're thinking he, with a Web 2 mind in a Web 3 world. This is just me and my 1,000 greatest fans. And all they want is me to continue to bring them value. And they're following me for some reason. So maybe they get in behind the scenes and I get to do certain Zooms with them or whatever. Or we have like meet and greets at like conferences and stuff. There is, it's not like a business in the formal sense because you already have all the liquidity. You just need to make that last.